Good evening, everybody. Welcome to HamFam. Today, let's get right into it, and it's just programming the Baofeng UV22. I believe this is the L model, but it's the UV22 series anyway. Okay, first of all, let's get the radio powered on, as usual. Welcome. Channel mode. And then we get my trusty programming cable. Pull down the flap, red flap in my case on this side, on this one. Okay, it's now plugged in. Now then, you fire up the CPS software, which I'll put a link into in the description. Uh, here we go. To launch it, and first of all, as always, you select the port, COM5 in my case, and then you read the radio. Okay, that's that done. Um, now what I'm, as you can see here, it's got the various test channels that have been put in by the by the manufacturer when they were doing the tests. Um, you have the channel list, which is what you're looking at. You got the VFO mode, which is where you go into VFO. It's all the default settings for being in VFO. Uh, you got the functions, squelch, time on talk, save, the usual stuff here. Take him on and just have a look around. Uh, what I've already done is I've already set the backlight, oops, sorry, backlight to on all the time because by default it came to me at five seconds and you can't really show much within the five seconds. So I set it to on. Got how the display is made, uh, display part A, display part B, uh, the usual stuff, recent menus and all that sort of stuff. So, oh, and one more. It's just the DTMF tones. Groups, sorry. Um, there you go. I never use those, so I didn't even go into that. So let's come out of here, come out of here. Now, a site I use all the time for this, for this sort of, so, this sort of thing, is uh, the repeater book. So, here we are at the repeater book. Uh, Repeaterbook.com. And I selected um, Canada and British Columbia, then North Vancouver, and I looked for the the, the quite uh, popular one here, which is V7RPT. Uh, it's got a large footprint. You've probably heard me say that multiple times, but it, it covers quite a large area of the lower mainland of BC. And I'm just going to program that in. So, obviously we've got the downlink, the uplink, and the offset, and the tone. And what it's called. Uh, see, that's on the air. Uh, it's got a wide area, so it reaches east side of Vancouver Island to Hope and as far south as various states in Washington. So basically it covers this sort of area like that and then all the way down to so it's like this sort of area it covers. So it's pretty cool. It was pretty good. Well, actually Hope's over here, sorry. So it's more like that. So it's quite a large area. Um, so what we're going to be doing is the downlink, which is when it's receiving. So let's put that in first. So it's 146.94. So let's go to the programming software and it's a receiving frequency. So let's change this one. So it's 146.94. Let's go back to the page. And the next thing it was asking was the tone, which is 136.5. So that'll be in here, receiving 136.5, sorry, transmitting 136.5. Oops, let's do that again. Uh, where is it? 136.5. We go back to here again. The uplink is 146.34. So let's copy that. Which is basically an offset of 0.6 from that one to that one. Back into here again, uh, so it's the transmission frequency and the transmission CTCSS. Now then, with this, with this um, 
radio, it, I mean, sorry, with this repeater, this is actually also the receive as well. It's not just the uplink, it's the receive. But it's not listed in here. Now, as far as I'm aware, not many repeaters use the receiving tone. Um, they just normally do that if they're within a range of another repeater which uses the same, the same frequency. So that could be the issue here. It may have been um, overlapping another another repeater like further away. So that's the only thing I can think of anyway. So the receiving CTCSS is 136. So it's 136.5. Put on the high power wide band. Add it. Add. We'll add it to the scan list. <coughs> okay, and let's name it. So let's just use the name that got it here, V7RPT. So let's go back to the. Uh, so it's V7RPT. Okay, so basically that is the frequency. That is the radio programmed for one repeater in my area. That's basically it. Uh, so let's go and double check the functions. Squelch is three. Time on talk. So that's fine. Time on talk alarm. Uh, okay, so let's go to here and we'll have this set to name and the frequency the one underneath we'll have that one set to frequency. I'll show you why we're doing this in a second. So the the display one which is A along the top here should display the name and I'll show you what the bottom one will do in a second or the, the whole point in doing this bit anyway. So let's write that to the radio. And we write, and there we go. I just want to show you the differences and what the two mean. I'm sure you know what they mean, but I'm going to show them anyway. Okay, and there you go. You now see the radio says V7RPT on the top. So if I now switch to the bottom one, oh, sorry, A to B, B to A is the um, is the, the the red key here, and I am going to. Switch it into VFO, uh, sorry, into channel mode. Which, and to do that, you push and hold the green button. As you can see, it switches between VFO now, uh, push and hold, and it goes into channel mode. So let's put this into channel one, and there you go. So this is the only reason I'm doing this is because that is the frequency, and you can see in here this is this currently set as um, that's the receiving frequency. So if I were to briefly press it, it doesn't work because this is plugged in. So let's try it again. There you go. You can see it very briefly moves back to, anyway, two seconds here. I better, I better call my sign. Victor Alpha 7, Charlie Oscar India, just doing a radio check for a video. Victor Alpha 7, Charlie Oscar India, out. I don't know why I said out. <laughs> I've got no idea why I said out. Anyways, just in case anybody's listening. Um, so that's that's it. That's how you receive. Hold on a minute. Did that work? Ah, okay. Yeah, but that, that's basically how you do it. That's that's all you do. That's all you program it. Um, there's nothing more simple really. I mean, a lot of my videos show you this. It just depends on the software that you get. Um, now the software I'm using here, if you already have one, is exactly the same as the UV5RH. It uses exactly the same CPS. Uh, and I will put a, a little link should show up in the uh, up in the top hand top side of the screen around about now. If I remember to put it in, and that'll send you off to the um, UV5RH, which I have. Um, so yeah, uh, the next video I'll do on this one is any tips or tricks or functions it has, which I haven't covered here yet. But as I say, this is just very, very basic programming. And that's how you do it. Couldn't really be more simpler. <laughs> um, okay, I'm... Um, one of the shortest videos I'm going to create. So I do have quite a few more videos to do of other radios. Um, I have to do the... I've got one more to do for the TID radio little programming dongle, which a link should appear above there for that. 
and I have another uh, video to do for the UV5RH as well, so it's its additional functions. Um, yeah, so, um, seven threes, and have a good night everybody, and I'll speak to you soon. As I say, really simple, very, very simple. It's just getting hold of the software, which is the problem. Okay, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.